James Meredith's accomplishments were essential to improving social equality. Through his constant persistence in the fight for social equality, James Meredith became the first African American to attend and graduate from the University of Mississippi, proving to younger generations that it is possible for people of color to get a good education. Meredith also started the March Against Fear, which protested against racism and promoted black voter registration. This caused black voter registration to increase exponentially. James Meredith was born on June 25, 1933, in Kosciuszko, Mississippi. During this time, segregation was very prominent, and societies frequently treated African Americans unfairly. His first time encountering racism was when Meredith was riding a train from Chicago with his brother. When the train arrived in Memphis, Tennessee, Meredith was ordered to give up his seat and move to the crowded black section of the train, where he had to stand for the rest of the trip. That was when he realized he, want, he wanted to commit his life to fight for equal treatment for African Americans. Nothing can be more insulting to me than the concept of civil rights. It means perpetual second-class citizenship for me and my kind, says Meredith. After Meredith finished high school, he would spend nine years in the U.S. Air Force before enrolling into Jackson State College, an, an all-black school in Mississippi. After staying at the college for two years, James Meredith decided to apply to the University of Mississippi, an all-white school, to show that African Americans can get high education the same as white people. James Meredith was the first African American to attend and graduate at an entirely white school called the University of Mississippi, also known as Ole Miss. Meredith was actually accepted into the school until the registrar found out about Meredith's race. Since all public educational institutions had been ordered to desegregate by this time, following 1954's Brown vs. Board of Education ruling, Meredith filed a suit alleging discrimination. Although the state courts ruled in opposition to him, the case made its way to the U.S. Supreme Court, which ruled in his favor. By being the first African American at Ole Miss, he was showing younger African Americans that they were able to get a good college education despite their color. He showed them that not only could he graduate, but also get his master's and a law degree in a society full of racial discrimination. Since Ole Miss was an all-white school, the students rioted against Meredith being accepted into the college. On, se on September 20th, 1962, Meredith entered the university to register for classes and found the entrance blocked by students. Attorney General Robert Kennedy sent 500 U.S. Marshals to the scene. President John F. Kennedy also sent military police, troops from the Mississippi National Guard, and officials from the U.S. Border Patrol to stop the riot. James H. Meredith is formally enrolled at the University of Mississippi, ending one chapter in the federal government's efforts to desegregate the university. The town of Oxford is an armed camp, following riots that accompany the registration of the first Negro in the university's 118-year history. Much of this film record was destroyed when our cameraman, Gordon Yoder, was attacked, but he did salvage pictures of Governor Ross Barnett at the scene. The governor fought the court order long and bitterly before modifying his stand. He was a very brave man. He, uh, in 1962, he got uh, he was out of the Air Force and he got accepted into uh, Old Miss, which was all white at the time. And he he uh, integrated. He went there to college and touched it. Uh, it touched off a huge riot on the campus in Oxford, Mississippi, and uh, two people were killed. Finally, the uh, National Guard had to come in to keep order. It was a, it was a, a huge riot. And he was very brave in that situation. James Meredith also started the March Against Fear. The plan was to walk from Memphis, Tennessee to Jackson, Mississippi, a total distance of 220 miles. The march's objective was to protest against the racial discrimination that African Americans faced at the time and to promote black voters' registration. On June 6, just one day into the march, Meredith was shot by a man named Aubrey James Norvell. Meredith was sent to the hospital and other civil rights leaders such as Martin Luther King Jr. and Stokely Carmichael came to continue the march. Meredith later on rejoins the march, and on June 26, the march was successfully reached Jackson, Mississippi. The march was very successful, and they managed to increase black voter registration by 695.5% in Mississippi and 278.8% in Alabama. 
James Meredith also helped inspire others to join the civil rights movements. During the March Against Fear, not only did it increase the black voter registration and protest against racism, but it also encouraged others to protest against unjust society. In 1966, Meredith uh, staged a one-man march. It was called the Meredith March Against Fear that started at the Tennessee-Mississippi line. And uh, he crossed over in, just by himself, in, but it was well publicized, into Mississippi. And he was going to walk the whole way through the state to encourage the purpose of the uh, march was uh, this one man march was to encourage black men and women to register to vote. But as soon as he crossed the state line and came into Pennsylvania, a man, a white man, jumped out of the bushes and shot him. Now, it didn't kill him. Uh, he used a shotgun, but had bird shot in it, so it wasn't enough to kill him. But he went to the hospital, of course, and because of that, it touched off or it inspired a huge sympathy march from uh, Martin Luther King and other people, uh, the head of SNCC, uh, Carmichael, all these people um, were involved in this huge march. And uh, that's the last big civil rights demonstration in the Deep South. That was in um, the spring of 1960, spring and summer of 1966. Yes. Meredith also wrote two books, A Mission from God, A Memoir and Challenge for America, and Three Years in Mississippi. I am not a civil rights hero. I am a warrior, and I am on a mission from God. These books include how Meredith engineered the desegregation at the University of Mississippi and about his years in college at Ole Miss. It showed upcoming generations and how he accomplished so much and encouraged them to make a change and protest against unfair situations. Although James Meredith did accomplish a lot, it can also be argued that they weren't essential to improving social equity. Well, you know what I think that, uh, that, that most likely um, he was created by the times, you know, he rose, um, he stepped up and did his bit for civil rights. And, and I have to say that I think that had um, James Meredith not come along, someone else might well have done similar things to what he has done, what he did, because um, there were people performing heroic acts all across the South, um, from Florida uh, the whole way through um, Mississippi into Louisiana. Um, uh, and so it, I don't want to take anything away from, from his bravery or heroism, but I, I just think that, that given how many people were so dedicated uh, to achieving civil rights that someone else might have done something similar, and we might have remembered that then as a heroic event. But it doesn't detract from the fact that his actions were very, very important, especially when he went to Old Miss in 1962. Um, very, very important to the overall civil rights movement. Yeah. Meredith wasn't the only civil rights leader protesting against racism. There were lots of people such as Martin Luther King Jr. who made a huge impact and inspired others. Because it was, there were so many people who helped in changing society, Murder wasn't that special and wasn't necessarily essential in terminating the unjust society. James Meredith's achievements st include starting the March Against Fear, inspiring others to support the civil rights movement, and was the first African American to attend and graduate from the University of Mississippi. Throughout the years, Meredith showed bravery, patience, and determination to be able to achieve the things he did. Because of his determination, he helped break a major racial barrier that occurred in the South.